there are a plethora of battle shonen that'll kick your adrenaline level to an 11, some even a 12. But a majority of those characters are fictional and don't hold real world significance. So instead, suppose we took real life people and pitted them against ancient Greek, Norse, Hindu, and other mythological gods to determine the continued existence of mankind. This is the premise of the highly popular manga, Record of Ragnarok. A manga that doesn't even pretend to have a plot, and just throws the reader into a battle tournament of the most epic proportions. So, as the story goes, turns out a cavalcade of mythological gods, headed up by Zeus, hold a conference every 1,000 years to decide on the continued existence of mankind. Unfortunately for mankind, that's us. The gods grew weary of their total disregard for the sustainability of the Earth, and the fact that we're just kind of a bunch of assholes and don't like to do what we're told. And thus, they decided, on a vote, to wipe us out of existence. Permanently. Before doing so, however, a demigod Valkyrie by the name of Brunhild interjected and proposed that the humans be given a chance at redemption at an event known as Ragnarok, i.e. a mano a mano tournament of strength, endurance, and badassery. The gods initially refused, even laughing off the very notion, but Brunhild insisted and she knew their only weakness calling them a bunch of chickens to their face. Everybody know this is against the law. So is dressing up a chicken and calling it your wife. <laughs> After their pride was diminished and not wanting their reputations tarnished, they accepted the terms Brunhild laid out and thus started a 13 man versus 13 god tournament. So you may be asking yourself, what makes Record of Ragnarok highly enjoyable? And in my opinion, it's threefold. Number 1. The artwork is fluid and gorgeous. As with any battle manga, it is critical to draw action sequences in a way that feel rapid, impactful, and highly detailed. And Record of Ragnarok does this with flying colors. Look no further than the first fight of the tournament, with Lu Bu, a famous Chinese warlord of the 2nd century AD, and Thor, God of Thunder. No, not that store! The battle is absolutely breathtaking and aesthetically pleasing. It also involves a myriad of interesting transformations and attacks that make you want to jizz testosterone from your bloodstream. What the, what the fuck are you saying? Y you know, if you're into that sort of thing, after you're done cleaning up your jizz mess, you might be asking yourself at this point, how is it that mere mortals have a chance at beating omnipotent gods? Well, as it just so happens, before each battle, Brunhild has a Valkyrie imbue her spirit into the Chosen Warrior, and thus, they are granted an immeasurable amount of strength and endurance, leading to battles with the gods that are seemingly evenly matched. Reason number two I love this series, the lore is absolutely hilarious. For the second battle of the tournament, Zeus decided to descend from his throne to take on the next human challenger, who turned out to be the first human in history, the progenitor of our species, none other than Adam from the biblical story of Genesis. What makes his lore laugh out loud worthy is that instead of Eve eating the apple from the Garden of Eden, she got framed by the serpent devil who, as it so happens, turned out to be a high-profile lawyer and decided to sue the naive girl in heaven's court. The creativity of this scene was absolutely brilliant and had me squeezing my sides and, and squeezing something else as well, if you know what I mean, from incessant laughter. What a cool twist on an old classic. And it's got me hyped for future chapters to see how they spin old stories in humorous new ways. And reason number three that I'm enjoying Record of Ragnarok is that the manga is just pure manliness. I'm sure most of you have seen manly manga slash anime before, but let me assure you, they are nothing compared to Record of Ragnarok. Uh, uh, okay, besides Fist of the North Star, Record of Ragnarok is the manliest manga out there. 
Okay, I guess there's a lot of manly anime slash manga. Let's just agree that it's manly and it's somewhere in the pantheon of all the greats. I mean, the very fact that they're taking mythological gods and having them battle the strongest slash smartest men in human history is as audacious as you can get. It's like if they held a special UFC event in which they allowed the contestants to use steroids, alligator tranquilizers, Arnold Schwarzenegger's left nut, Lance Armstrong's right nut, Chuck Norris's beard, Robert Downey Jr.'s personality, and his Iron Man suit, and all the radioactive material from Area 51. Rachel Nevada at 6.30. <laughs> to have the most epic battle ever. That's Record of Ragnarok, people. Now go read this beautiful piece of manliness before someone questions whether or not you got a Y chromosome.